I'm Mike and this is Two Sounds at Once. Welcome to my channel. There are lots of bugs out here right now. Lots of mosquitoes. Today we're going to discuss the tools or weapons of a bio boxer or a beat boxer, if you wish. A bio boxer is somebody that <laughs> communicates with animals using sound effects mimicking the animal's language. But the weapons, the tools, since you're going to be out in the woods a lot or on uneven ground is your trekking pole. I have cord tied to mine for tying up tarps, which tarps are also an important thing for concealment and for being able to sustain yourself outside. But your trekking pole, and this is utilized for connecting cameras and for you know setting up your tarp shelters two of the bio boxers tools is your tarp this is a tarp poncho the tarp poncho is able the tarp poncho is able to provide shelter concealment when you're trying to hide from an animal they know you're there they can smell you and hear you and probably even see you being able to have shelter from the rain while you're doing long stints of calling. So having having shelter, and this is a green tarp poncho, and uh, being able to have have the green be a backdrop for green screening as well, which is a trick I got to try. The third tool, if something goes bad it's always good to have a knife of some sort that's a tool some people would say weapon i call them tools because the primary purpose is a tool but in a worst case scenario it could be a weapon against an animal if you had to defend yourself i also number four is flashlight i use a tactical flashlight it's very bright it's very bright, has a bevel. I got it from a veteran's uh, YouTube channel. Black Scout Survival, really nice guy. Puts up some really cool material. Flight's good. You can shine in the eyes of a frog. Bullfrog's there, shine in its eyes. Grab, mesmerize. Pack of coyotes while I was stealth camping. I mean, I had a pack of coyotes while I was solo camping. I shine this in their eyes and uh, needless to say, um, that's a uh, other um, other tool and it's also just good for spotting where things are at and it's good for defense against animal bandanas this one actually says bio box multi-species beatboxing language bandana could be used to suppress the wind sound on a microphone I could actually do a tutorial on that creating a spit trap a lot of the stuff I would use or a bio boxer the animal specialist when it comes to communicating or biolinguistics a lot of the stuff I would use or we would use is geared towards survival, observation of animals, creativity, creating that natural music. It goes without saying that you need water. Water for hydrating while you're making calls can dry out the throat. You drink a little bit of water, keeps the saliva going, and it's good when it's 90 degrees out right now. Camera is also important. Observing and documenting what you've called when you've called to an animal with your experiences and um, the ambient things that visual the ambient things that visuals give you. The coup de gras of tools is a pocket recorder. Every beatboxer should have one of these pocket recorders. It can be an indispensable. This right here is the equivalent of a lightsaber to a Jedi. Anyway, this helps you get your music done. This helps document what you've heard. This helps get your music done. This helps document what you've heard and helps you study the information you've heard as well as create surveillance. It can also be used in legal situations, which is another topic altogether. Buffs also. Buffs are a good one. Paracord, you need to be able to tie up rubber bands, headbands, hairbands for holding 
your camera or your phone in place while you do a video or a tutorial. These are a number of tools that uh, we regularly carry. We being the group of elite bio boxers named Michael Bolton Jr. Um, if there's any of you other bio boxers out there, leave a comment. If you're making animal sound, if you make animal sounds for fun, if you make animal sounds to communicate, leave a comment. If you like this video or if you have things that you carry on your person on a day-to-day -day basis that you find helpful, leave a comment as well. If you found this video helpful for things that you might carry every day or if there's something that you'd be like, no, I don't do that, let me know what you think. Um, also, check out my other tutorials, my other videos. I have music on this channel. Thank you for visiting. Peace.